vote. And that took hard work and determination by the likes of me, Emma Sprozen. Wolverhampton's first female councillor. Well, let me explain what happens when you've got a temper. You feel this surge of energy inside of you, right there, and you want to make something happen. Are you ready? Now, now the, the only thing is... <laughs> Uh, right, How, how's that, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, you just mustn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely statue still. With your nose in the air, then, Lord Curzon. Okay, okay. Right, take off your posture, then. Brilliant. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. <laughs> now, I'm Emma, and I asked you a question, and Lord Curzon, he said, no, nothing. <laughs> did, did you get that before? Good. Yeah. Glad you're listening. Lord Nathaniel Curzon, why won't you answer me question? Sit down. I won't answer your question because you are a woman. Does anyone know what suffragettes are? Yeah, go on then, my fellow suffragettes. <laughs> Go on then, suffragette. Oh, a pain in the neck, yes, all right. Right, what was that slogan? And, please not worry. Perfect. And I knew about hardship from a young age. No, this is a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Me, poor little Emma Lloyd. But I had something that some women didn't have. I had something that some men didn't have. It was a mouth. <laughs> and it liked talking. It still likes talking. With their shiny uniforms, looking very important. Some of them had whips. And, and they were coming closer and closer, like we were on a battlefield and we were the enemy. And they formed a great wall outside the house of Commons, an impenetrable wall so that we couldn't pass. The policeman on the wall pointed to him, I want you to be a subject, but you're on the wrong side. <laughs> I do dream of that day when women will make decisions for our future. That takes good status.